Hello everyone, how are you doing today? You are all welcome to my channel, Apostle Paul Taiwo YouTube channel, to my recent subscribers I want to say a very big thank you, and to those that have been here all along, God bless you. And if this is your first time on this channel, I want to say a very big welcome and thank you for tuning into my video today. Kindly endeavor to click the subscription button and also the notification icon so that you can be notified whenever I dropped a new video or come up for prayers. This video you are about to listen to I believe will bless your heart, and help you to come into repentance, and also strengthen your bond with God and with His Holy Spirit in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Endeavor to like this video, share it to all your friends, contacts and loved ones, God bless you. Men of God Jesus rescued a drunken man from the garbage dump of that city, he was cleansed from his sins and redeemed from perdition. Today he is a great man who preaches the word. Drunk addicts have been released by God and taken from this world by his glory and given the grace to become the men of God. There are still teachers who teach the pure word of Jesus and take good care of the sheep so they do not get lost. They have brought the people deceived by the false prophets to the holy fold of God. These sheep are clean with the word of God and healed of false doctrines. Sick souls are being cared for by serious men who do not mix the holy gospel with false doctrine. Seeing this vision, the Lord said, My servant shall protect the flock from false doctrines and forbid them from attending false preachers preaching, they have their names written in my book of life. Jesus showed me in the vision a flock that belongs to a shepherd. The herd was covered in wool and wounded. Jesus said, Look how this flock is enticed by the false prophets. Angels of Light False Prophets False Anointings I had a vision of millions of angels going to various churches. I rejoiced when I saw those celestial beings. Jesus told me, Why are you glad? This saddens me, Son, they are angels of light, deceitful spirits who imitate the works of the Holy Spirit. They have the false prophets to carry out their plans of destruction. These false prophets when they receive these demons no longer have a normal life. This is the false Holy Spirit that the false prophets are giving to the people. A pirate copy of it, a fake imitation. These deceiving spirits will take their mouths in prophecy and they will think it is my spirit. In the vision I saw millions of spirits that produce warmth within the church, imitating the Holy Spirit. People prophesied, jumped, fell to the ground, shouted, danced and crawled dust from the heat. When the false prophets said to receive the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I saw many people giving place to receive their evil portions. I saw a blackened oil pouring into the heads of these people. These people thought it was the work of the Holy Spirit and they laughed at the power they thought to be of the Holy Spirit. I saw the garments of these muddy people, there was no purity in their spiritual lives. Their biggest mistake is to think that they can receive the Holy Spirit without sanctification. I saw millions of light spirits who were not from God going to other churches. They have transfigured themselves into angels of deceit, resembling the heavenly. Jesus said to me, these same spirits are of the Cardus's spiritualism that they incorporate in the people saying that it is the person who died or inside profane churches. They also appear in witchcraft with other names, and now in the false churches, they pass off as the Holy Spirit. They are deceivers. And more people are submitting to them in deception thinking they are experiencing the warmth of the Holy Spirit. One of the greatest religious decoys of our time is Kardec's spiritualism. The followers of Kardec believe that they live the authentic Christianity. Kardecism preaches mediumship, charity as a table of salvation, reincarnation as necessary to the evolution of spirits. The false prophet said, Thus saith the Lord, Today I will anoint you as kings of this land. And the Christians are called to the front and a demon poured the black oil on the heads of the believers who went there. The false prophets soon spilled anointed oils on the heads of those brothers and prophesied a false anointing. Those believers fell to the ground with their bodies all trembling. From that moment they were raised with the same authority of the false prophets to perform their false works. They received false gifts to perform miracles invested with the authority given by false prophets. Jesus showed me the filthy waters coming out of the interior of these false prophets. I saw a demon say, I reign in this place. I am their God, they do my will, I will operate here until they receive their crowns of eternal life. The demon gave a terrible laugh. 
I saw the demon of sensuality masquerading as the Holy Spirit. He uses sensual women in prophecies. Spirits of seduction. I saw the spirit of the catwalk using a sister. This spirit also works in the lives of models and transforms appearances leaving them with seductive looks. I have seen the spirit of hair straightening and painting that leaves women's hair on TV commercial looking like a seductress. I also saw the spirit of masculine sensuality, men who wear shorts, walk without shirts, and wear tight clothing on their bodies. I have seen male seducing demons that induce brothers into adultery, fornication, and prostitution. These demons used believers who were not delivered from immorality. They got out of pornographic movies, magazine pictures, and sexy women's Facebook, and enter into their minds of the believers. Catholic and Evangelical Charismatic False Pentecost I saw a Catholic church where a priest told people to give way to the Holy Spirit. When he said that, the people would fall to the ground and rest in the Spirit. Those people fall into a spiritual slumber when they fall to the ground. I saw the demon of idolatry masquerading as the Holy Spirit and deceiving the priest. I also saw an evangelical church and the pastor of that church made people sleep. They received a knockout and fell to the ground like dead and there was a demon responsible for the deceit. False Fire After this vision, I went to visit a church. I had a vision of rains of fire falling from the sky. The church was hit with that rain, but me. I asked Jesus in my prayer because I felt nothing in the rain. The Lord said, You are clothed in my armor these drizzles of darkness cannot penetrate your body. Angel of Light False Prophecy Soon after I saw a horrible monster entering the church and transfigured into an angel of light. He appeared to a sister making her rejoice. That sister received a prophecy from that demon inside the church. She told the whole congregation that she saw the angel inside the church. The people began to glorify God. She said, that the angel brought him a prophecy to give to the people and told them everything. I knew it was a demon cheating on that sister. I went home when the service ended and I went to pray until 3 in the morning. An angel appeared to me and said, Today I will take you to show you hell. I heard the voice of the Holy Spirit saying, Do not believe, it is not from God. I cast out that spirit of light that came to bring me a message. The Holy Spirit said, Those who have a covenant with me, I will not let the demons deceive them. Witches. The Holy Spirit continued, Pray a lot, for there are seven sorceresses who have your name in magic to destroy your ministry. They are very angry with you. When you were in the city of Arusha, you won many souls. They have lost many clients who had sought their services of darkness in the past. Even though they are in Africa, a place far away from here their spells are powerful. When the Holy Spirit revealed this to me I had a vision of these witches. They were assembled and summoned a chief demon. I saw in the vision when that demon appeared to them. One of them said, I want to kill that young man who came here, what is the price of the sacrifice? I have 21 goats and all the colors and 56 chickens. The demon said, that is too little to kill a believer from that spiritual level. It's not easy to get him as we have to do a lot of work. I'm not going out with my troop from here and traveling to a distant land with this little offering. The sorceress said, ask what you will, I will give you. The demon said, you want me to take his life, life pays for life. The life of one of you for his life. The sorceresses looked frightened not expecting such a high price. One of them finally said, do not worry. I offer my life in return. I am the weakest among you. Someone has to continue the work. I know that I will be in a good place with Jesus. The demon had one of the sorceresses nail a dagger into her heart and use her blood in the death ritual. I saw when they sacrificed that woman and the demons took her soul and went down to hell. When they did that ritual of death, the chief demon with his battalion came to Europe looking for my head. They traveled several miles to kill me. I was praying and feeling when more than 100 demons arrived. They stayed in my backyard and surrounded my house. It was dawn when they came to kill me thinking I was asleep. I began to hear noises in my yard and on the roof. They started knocking on my window and my wife woke up with the noise. I told her to stay in spirit and together we began to make that powerful prayer. 
My vision opened up and I saw those devils surrounding my house and pointing their hands toward my house. Out of his hands came black darts, not just one, I saw millions of black balls coming at me and my wife. It was a barrage of darts in our house, but I noticed that those darts were stopped by a large shield that covered us. The great shield of fire that formed protected us from all those darts. I saw the millions of darts fired falling to the ground and the ground becoming dark. The floor of my house was all dark and the earth sucked all the darts into it like rainwater being sucked into the ground. The floor of my room became normal and those legions of demons were gone. Those demons had to go back to Africa because they were encroaching on territories here where I live belonging to other demons that act in this region. My wife said she did not see when the demons attacked, but she felt a negative weight of a diabolical presence in the house. Open the word of God and go forth in Psalms 91 4, He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings, you will trust, his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. We thank God for another victory in this spiritual warfare. Imagine if I did not have a sanctified life, they would have touched me. Any Christian who is going to make a mission in dangerous places without renouncing the world runs the great risk of dying, for the demons kill. Holiness of the Body I was invited to preach the word in a church. When I began to speak of the sanctity of the body an evangelist woman waited for me to finish the preaching. She got up from the bench and said she did not believe my words, accusing me of speaking heresies. This happened at the end of the service when I prayed for oppressed people. A woman was manifested by a demon and fell to the ground. I looked at the woman evangelist and said, you are saying this because you do not want to give up vanity, you need liberation. She said, I am already freed by the blood of Jesus and never fall into any demonic oppression in church. I replied to her, I'll make a challenge with you. Since you said that you are covered by the blood of Jesus, I will send the demon that is inside the body of this woman who is on the ground to enter yours. If you walk in holiness this demon will not find space within your body because of the dwelling of the Holy Spirit. I ordered the demon to leave the woman's body and told him to enter the body of the evangelist. The evangelist was possessed by the devil and fell to the ground. I proved to the church that she was wrong about the vanity of the body. That evangelist had a strong makeup, she wore black lipstick and pencils on her eyebrows. She wanted to embarrass me in church saying I was wrong to preach against such things. I cast out that demon of her life and she believed my words. Church, have a zeal for the holiness of your body. Do not despise this doctrine because your body is an abode of the Holy Spirit. You need the Holy Spirit in your life to do the good work. The sisters in my church do not wear makeup. One day they were praying I saw a ball of fire touching their faces. The anointing of the Holy Spirit left the faces of the sisters bright, their cheeks reddened by the burning fire. The shine of the Holy Spirit is the best makeup there is. I have watched as the Holy Spirit left the sisters' faces beautiful, the lights on their faces made them more beautiful than when they wore makeup. I also saw the faces of women believers in makeup burning like hellfire. That was in a vision I had when I looked into the faces of some believers. Spiritually their faces were deformed looking like Freddy Krueger's face. I saw the powder of the makeup they passed on their faces turning black microbes. These microbes entered their faces that caused blisters and inflammation. Their faces created scales of crocodiles and filled with holes that fit a pin. Those larvae that entered the small holes of their faces were demons. These microbe-sized demons also entered through the hairy crowns of the sisters who dye the hair. All this was a medium where the demons came in to possess their bodies. A woman who dyed her hair was possessed by several small demons who entered her hairy crown. Strife I have also cast out devils from tongues that speak too much. I have cast out devils from strife, demons from groups that formed within the church. I have seen the tongues of these people like serpent tongues. Pornography Many brothers were demon-possessed and I expelled them all. Brothers who have minds polluted by pornography and immoralities have been set free. I saw fireballs coming into their heads and burned all the broods the demons had created inside their minds. Malice I saw fireballs entering the brothers' bosoms and burning all the malice and wickedness kept inside, every trash and debris that the demons left in their hearts the Holy Spirit cleansed. Speaking corrupt words were also burned in there. Sinful actions cause an imbalance in the spiritual lives attracting evil. 
All that is done now is reflected in the spiritual world hurting people. Holiness Jesus said, Faithful servant, warn these people to preserve holiness after their deliverance. I want this church to close their eyes to the things of the world. I want no more conflict between them. I want cooperation and love in their interactions and in the breaking of bread. I want to see this church united in one spirit and made into an unshakable rock. Tell them if they obey my word, they will never be denied any spiritual resources from heaven. And I will always pour my renewal into their lives, light the flames when they fail and I will be their strength in difficult times. I want you to grow spiritually and have activity in the work. Those who follow my word will not die spiritually. The decision to sanctify is in the hands of the church. To those who obey I will sustain them in my presence and I will be the solution to their problems. As I passed these revelations to the church the people rejoiced, and heaven descended within them. I saw a noise of a wind coming into the four corners of the church. It was the presence of the Holy Spirit that filled that place. I say to all, to have a healthy spiritual life without any demonic influence, it is necessary to live a life of practice and prayer. Rebuild your foundations from today on. Every verse of the Bible will rebuild your spiritual structure. Holiness attracts holiness. When the Holy Spirit sees a clean temple, He approaches it and all His heat burns the body of its impurities, all His light penetrates the sanctified body and goes to the marrow of the soul. Holy doctrine kindles the flame that has gone out. All it takes is the reaction of a sincere prayer for the flame to ignite. The more you pray, the more the fire of God ignites in your life. You who do not walk in holiness will one day die, and to whom will you give up your souls to? I went home and talked to my wife about starting a women's ministry. The church is growing and the number of women prayer warriors has only increased, they are eager to do street evangelism. My wife agreed to have a women-only evangelism group. I went to pray at midnight. I was worried about my ministry. In prayer, I told Jesus, when I die, who will continue the ministry that my father did not finish? Successor Jesus said, as you care about tomorrow, I already have the right person for this job. I said, Lord, that means that I am going to die before this work is finished, who will be that capable person who will continue? Jesus said, you know who will continue your work, Naomi Atsuchi whom I chose before she was born. She is my prophet that I will raise to lead the next evil generation to come. Jesus showed me in the vision my adult daughter preaching to a multitude of people and the spiritual currents were broken through her preaching. Jesus said, the generation that is yet to come will be worse than this, but I always raise my prophets to preach in every age to save souls. Take good care of my pearl stone, she's precious to me. My eyes filled with tears at this revelation. I was thrilled. Spiritual Warfare Against Serious Churches After the vision I had of my daughter, Jesus showed me a vision of a great spiritual war. The demons were preparing to attack the church, the purpose of this war was their interest in souls. Demons were attacking people who are congregating in serious churches and do not want them in denominations that teach them to live the gospel. These Christians were being tested for actually walking in the truth. Many did not resist the tests and backslide. The demons could get some believers out of the church and bring them into the world, but when people left the true churches, going to the false, the demons celebrated. I saw an army of well-organized demons, they had strategies and plans to destroy the church, they possessed armaments of darkness to reach the church. These demons do not want to attack profane and rebellious churches, they always look in the churches where the shepherds preach holiness. This is the flock they want to attack. If you are the only one in your church who has decided to live the truth, you are being targeted by the devil at this time. The devil is not worried about the flock that has not given up their lukewarm and worldly ways. Those who have not renounced the world, Satan considers them defeated. Spiritual Warfare Through Sin I saw the legions surrounding a praying church, they kept waiting for the church to cool down to operate. One of the church members was in sin and did not want to leave the world. He was inside the church, the demons were looking at him, until one of them said, here is an opportunity to enter the church through him. Then one of the demons possessed the boy. The purpose of that demon was to cause division and to destroy the church through that boy. 
Hello everyone thank you for watching our video for today, I trust it blesses your heart. Endeavor to like this video and share it to your loved ones, I pray the grace of the living God will continue to rest upon you and upon everything that pertains to you in the name of Jesus, Amen. If you have any question or comments kindly drop them in the comment section, God bless you. See you in our next video and have a lovely day, bye for now.